Randy, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. What's going on? Hey, Ken. How are you doing today? I'm a little fired up. Be warned. <laughs> I, I enjoyed the, the previous segment. Did you like that? Did you like the uh, the uh, emotional support zebra? It's, it's some of my favorite content, I'll be honest. Exactly. Good. Yes, sir, I did. Good. What's going on? Well, I appreciate you uh, taking my call today. Yeah, you bet. Hey, um, so about three and a half years ago, I left uh, full-time vocational ministry um, after 20 years as pastor and um, went into a, a job that I love um, and enjoyed for uh, these years. It's in sales. It's actually specific sales, design, and sales of headstones, of all things. Um, but I love it, enjoy working with the folks and uh, customer service aspect of that. Uh, first time doing anything other than vocational ministry, but you know, recently I've started to kind of feel like maybe it's time to, to go back into vocational ministry. I've submitted a couple of resumes, nothing's happened. I do have one smaller congregation that's looking, considering me as their next pastor. Uh, we have not met with them yet they're just in the beginning stages and so really just kind of wanted to get your ideas and thoughts on is it right time to go back or um, should i leave the job i love and, and go back in the ministry well it sounds like to me the way you set it up that you're giving me a false choice and you're talking to mm. a pastor's kid here i know and so we're going to get into some theology uh and and your interpretation may be different than mine but based on what i'm hearing you say you're asking the wrong question, and you're certainly okay. asking it of the wrong person. Now, I appreciate and I'm honored by the call. And what I mean by that is this. You said you feel as though it's time to get back in. Mm -hmm. And so my question is, is that feeling based on guilt because you walked away before, mm -hmm. or is it really the Holy Spirit and a pull back into ministry? Yeah, that's a good question. Um... Oh, so what yeah. is, so that mean? did I nail the tooth voices? <laughs> yes, sir. I believe you did. I believe you did. Um, wow. yeah, you know, because like you said, you're a pastor's kid. Um, how much of it is of, guilt? How much of his guilt? Be honest right now. You can change it later today. 75%. 75% guilt. I think so, just because, you know, you're called to be that in that role, and it's a lifetime calling. That's what you, or that's what I was kind of led to believe, and that's what, you know. Yeah, okay, so that's where, uh, that's where I would disagree with the people that taught you that. Um, okay. I, I, I do think, because, for instance, I, I believe I was led to Ramsey Solutions. I also believe God could lead me away. Do you agree with that? Mm, sure. Um, I teach... You know what I teach, right? Talent, passion, mission. Right. Psalm 139, 13, 14. It's right there. David actually uses the 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 metaphor, you knit me together in my mother's womb. Do you believe that God, the creator of the universe, designed you with talent, uh, things you do well, with passion, things you love to do, and a sense of mission, a greater purpose in yourself, results that matter deeply? Do you believe that? Oh, yes, definitely. Well, do you believe that then you can fulfill that purpose in multiple professions? I do, because that's what I have found to be true in this world Absolutely. I'm in now. A hundred percent. When you described yeah. it to me, I heard the heart of a counselor, the heart of a caregiver that is very pastoral. And you think of the mm -hmm. role of shepherd, right? We use that m many times as we, we talk about Jesus, who, who you know, the, the, the great shepherd. And, and we talk about the role of the shepherd. And when you are consoling families, I think you're ultimately consoling families. I don't think you're selling them headstones at all. Correct. Then, then, That's then, what I like the most. Then I would stay there. Um, and, here's mm. the, and here's the bottom line for me. God does not deal in guilt. Right. God is not pushing you back into the ministry. I don't hear any evidence of that at all. What I hear is, you feel ashamed and you feel a sense of guilt. And that's because my dear friend, and I say this with love because I struggle with this. Every Christian does. Sometimes we see God in the wrong way. and We see him through the lens of maybe our earthly father or an earthly authoritative figure. 
And I don't think God deals in guilt. So no, I would not go back because I think if you do, you begin to resent the ministry. And I think your ministry is in your work, whether you're a pastor or not. Thanks for the call, Randy. You're doing good work. Keep doing it.